well, people sending us different links yeah, so, no. and they want to know your opinion on what they in those link in those videos, right? Mm -hmm. um, and this is the videos. Well, again, I know what you think about the cross training, but yeah. what I found interesting about that, the people that send the links to us, they don't know each other and they didn't know that other people were sending it. But what I found interesting in these three videos that I got to look at, uh -huh. there's one specific exercise, supposedly, magically, will fix all of your problems. No, no, which problems? Well, here I'm going to say, so one person, should I say the name or not, who gives advice? I'd probably just say, what's the difference, you know? Oh, you mean who's giving the advice? Well, yeah, yeah well, that's, advice. yeah, yeah, so I mean, so person, people can go look for themselves. One person who gives the advice, her name is Claudia Dean, she has her own profile, she's pretty big on YouTube, and yeah, yeah. people will know. Um, <coughs> she has a school, so she gives the advice, and the one exercise I'm going to just name, <coughs> it's a wall seat. Right? So you go yeah. like this. Yeah, yeah they know what a wall sit right? is. Yeah. So her point, if you do the wall sit, uh, it aligns you perfectly. She will use the word placement that it will develop your placement so you know how to stand correctly. So you go against the wall, you lean it, and you create this flat back, and blah, 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 and you're ready yeah. to go. Second person who does it, uh, it's uh, also by her profile, it's a ballerina badass. Uh, she gives the wall seats as an exercise for the people who have a hyperextension, how to fix it. So you fix the hyperextension with doing the wall seat. Did she so, say how? Yes, so you do this, uh. so it will teach you a leg to, to develop this muscle so you don't, so you don't lock your leg into the hyperextension. So it will teach you a leg how Just to by sitting it. or by... No, 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 you just sit and do the Instagram. In a Naturally, order. selfie. Right, selfie while you're in it. Wrongly, yeah. And then the third person, she's a Canadian uh, principal dancer mm -hmm. in, the can in the one of the, in, in the Canada in the mm -hmm. ballet company, whatever the name. Um, so she suggested that you do the wall sits because you need to, because the dancers need to use the quad. They need to have strong quads uh -huh. to do the jumps. And she also said the same thing. You go and you do the selfies. Yeah, well, might as well. Uh, so this is what I've noticed about those videos that have been sent to us. Mm -hmm. And I kind of summarized it for myself. I said, well, okay, so you do all those one magic exercise that will do all of those problems. Yeah, well, yeah, there's a magic concept, but not, a, not one exercise. Yeah, all those things are taken care of by... Um, training turnout with placement um, so it's jumping hyperextended legs and what's the third thing well the actual alignment oh, placement. the placement yeah. itself that's how she put it well <laughs> I mean I used to do those in karate you know I don't think they're even useful there I used to do that being grown up in Russia for different reasons and what's that got in trouble in school no for what? Okay, the, the quad exercise. Oh, yeah, for going to the bathroom in the forest. Going to the bathroom in Russia, <coughs> if people have been in Russia, they know that's the one, number one problem. And if you go to just a hole, most of us just do this. Yeah, so yeah you don't have those, to demonstrate that whole process. Right, but according to that, I mean, believe me, I grew up in there, and I have, I, well, if you, you look used to the have previous podcast, the early one, you will see I have, I had a very big, huge... Well, you also spent half your life walking upstairs. Right. So if we're talking about just for jumping, and according to that theory that you need to have a very strong quad, so while I should be flying better than Barishnikov, you know, but yeah. I can't. Yeah, no, um... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the first time I, you know... Yeah, the bathrooms in like the malls and normal places, if you can find one, there's an actual bowl, like a right. toilet, a bowl. Mm -hmm. But if you go to the older, <clears throat> like the uh, the parks, train stations, train stations park, parks, you know, you you know, there's like a stall. You go in and there's a hole in the ground with launch pad, <laughs> like it's for your. It's like, it's like, um, yeah, it's it's like some grip for your shoes or Shame something. Shame not slip, you know. Absolutely. Shame not slip. Yeah. So that's a nightmare for a Western person. But, yeah, that's about the only use for that. 
For the quads, yeah. Yeah, for that exercise is to is to go to a, for well, especially a woman to go to a, the bathroom. So, if that's the goal, that's great. But um, well, come on, that's ridiculous, baby. Look, how does this do have anything to do with ballet at all? It doesn't. You, why not just sit in your car? You know, number one, we don't have a joint in our lower back, so sitting is just bad news anyway. Um, I mean, that, why would you put a strain on yourself like that? Sitting against the wall, it, it, it isn't ballet. N number one, you're parallel. You're parallel. Your legs are parallel, so you're just not doing ballet. It's just not ballet. Just like playing golf is not ballet. Just like, I don't know, riding a bike is not ballet. Wall sits are just not ballet. That's, you're not doing anything related to ballet, so why, why are we even talking about this stuff? In, in ballet, in the context of ballet. Uh, so you, you have hyperextended legs. We took care of that. You can show it if you want. Loose and then go loose first. Loose, loose, loose. Your legs loose? Yeah. Yeah. And then put your placement together. And then you see how the space between the uh, heels lessened? That's from turnout, placement and turnout, right? So, because, yeah, you get that whole thing about locking your knees. Well, when you train turnout correctly, you get to the point where you can straighten your legs without locking the joint itself. And the only way you get that is through turnout and placement. Correctly, I should say, turnout, which is through placement. So that's that, right? So what else is there again? What are the other? The jump, the knee. Okay, no, no. Jumping has nothing to do with really with the size of your quad. In fact, you don't want bulky quads. You don't want bulk when you're trying to get off the ground, right? There's a fine, there's like a sort of a golden middle where you have strength and you're light. That's how you get out there. Like a chimp. Mm -hmm. Chimpanzee is, what, five times stronger than a man, like my size. And they're real skinny. Bulk is not, doesn't equal strength unless you're just lifting weights. <sighs> okay, then that's what you need. But when you're trying to dance, it, bulk is bad news. So no, no, no. In, well, again, and it's bulk turned in. So you're actually, uh, whatever turnout you, you might have, not, you know, whatever facility you have in your hips or, or train turnout, wall sits is the perfect anti-turnout exercise you could do. So whatever, so whatever, let's say, you know, how I've trained you, it's like we're trying to get the legs perfectly tight and turned out. Wall sitting is the opposite of that, of that process. So if you want to, you know, whatever these people spend however many years getting to a, a point, now they're going to just go backwards? by doing wall sits. So it has nothing to do with jumping, it has nothing to do with turnout, it has nothing to do with ballet. That's the simplest explanation, it's just it isn't ballet, so what are we talking about? But neither is Pilates, neither is yoga, neither is gyrotronics, neither is, what's this other thing uh, they confuse with the Russian Olympians? Oh, poly polymetrics? No, no, no. That's what they... What's it called? Yeah, well, polymetrics. No, 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 it's not that. Well, no. Poly is something. That's what somebody sent us a message about. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they call yeah, look, folks, all, look, we can make this a simpler conversation. Like, if you are not working your turnout, you are not doing ballet. Mm -hmm. So anything that was designed outside of the pedagogical environment of ballet is not ballet. So that includes all the... the uh, what are those called? The uh, TheraBand? No, what, what were they called? Resistance, Resistance bands. Like all that stuff. Even what, what's, what's sort of ironic about that is even these exercises, like even when they're claiming to be working turnout, what they're actually doing, when you know what you're looking at, is they're, they're doing the perfect exercises to inhibit turnout. So at least if you're like swimming or something, you're not actively trying to ruin your turnout. You're just working your body in a different way, and it may or may not, I mean, it's certainly not going to help turn out, but it may not hurt it. Those exercises actually work against your turnout. So all the, all the resistance band work and floor work and the, 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 the balls and the whole thing, all the gimmicks. So at least walls and you don't have to buy anything, but uh, no, that's the, that's, I think that might be one of the worst things you could do. 
as a ballet dancer, other than lifting weights and doing Pilates and that kind of thing. Wall sits is a horrible idea. I would think that would be really obvious, though. Like, you're sitting at a 90 degree, your back to your thighs is 90 degrees, your knees to the floor are 90 degrees. That's not what we're going for. And unless you're jumping around like a bunny, why would we be doing that? That has nothing to do with jumping, by the way, in turned out positions. Of course, we discuss all this in our DVD. We, we did a podcast about jumping, did we not? Did. It's like the speed and coordination and turnout. I mean, turn. Well, that's you know. when we did that podcast that somebody gave us the, oh. so the link and said, like, well, you people don't understand. Go check out how the Russian Olymp uh, Soviet Olympics did it better in the name of that exercise, how they developed the jumps for the Olympics and the method called polymetrics. Right, 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 but that's for athletes but who for are us. not turned out. My dream is that we can close this whole conversation off okay like look if it, if you're not turned out if you're not working turn out if you're not thinking about it if you're not talking about it in every single exercise you do you're not doing ballet I know this is uncomfortable for some people like all the people that write for dance magazine or whatever don't want to make everyone's like dancing around the issue the, the, the fact is never going away okay the art comes from the technique, the technique comes from turnout, period. Period. There's no way around that. I, although I applaud the immense amount of time and energy and, and money spent on trying to get around that fact, and it just keeps failing. So at what point do we just go, okay, we need to learn what turnout is? And by the way, it's not that complicated, actually. It's not like this crazy thing, trying to figure out how the universe works or something. It's, it's, it's a couple of legs and a hip. And you're, we're, our bodies are simple. It's not that complicated. And we just put out a DVD that explains the whole thing. So, look, let's just stop this nonsense, eh? Maybe people can just learn what it is, why it is, and let's just get on with it. And stop suggesting really comically stupid things that clearly don't work. I mean, we, we, you know, look, we, we, we have a whole 20th century to look at. Like the great stars that we all love, none of them did these things. Could you imagine, you know, Boryshnikov, Nureyev, Vasilyev sitting in the theater while sitting like a bunch of morons with a dunce cap on? Oof. Oof. They didn't even have the selfies to take. Well, yeah, right. But, you know, because they'd be too, they'd, they w yeah, they would have too much dignity to take a selfie of themselves sitting on the pot. I mean, really, that's, that's, where, that's where we're at. Sit on the pot, take a selfie. Come on, this, this, is, this is getting like difficult for me not to really mock people rudely. And they would have earned it if I did. But I'm trying to be polite about this. But it's funny, one, someone uh, funny wrote that, I don't know, my reaction to, I think it was uh, Catherine Morgan's advice, mm -hmm. when it sounded like you were thinking WTF, what the F. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm feeling. <laughs> Every time I read it's like, you know, how could an adult person think this through like this, write it down, or worse, you know, record themselves saying such a ridiculous thing, then if it's an article or what have you, editors are looking, go, that sounds right, you know, and put these ideas out in public and then not anticipate any kind of pushback from people who know. Like there are people in the world that know what's going on. Most, most are quiet, as I was for a long time, just busy doing your work, you know. But at a certain point, you know, if for no other reason, just, just for the health and safety of children, you know, someone has to say something. Like, this is outrageous, the things that are going on. I can't remember th something that was really, really ridiculous. I mean, there's no shortage of ridiculous things that are suggested. And what was the most... Something, something recently. What the hell was it? Yeah, I don't know. I don't mean that. I, I mean something. Yeah, yeah. That's that's beyond. But I mean, uh, really, and actually put the yeah, photo yeah, up. yeah, yeah, taping things to the body and stuff. Yeah, no, that's. And I'm not thinking about that. It's something recent. It's. I'm talking about something from like you could say institutional level thing, like big companies, big schools that are supposedly 
fame I mean they're famous and so forth and so for that reason they're supposed to know what they're talking about and it just it gets the gimmicks just get more ridiculous not not less what was it I was telling you there's another gimmick what was it didn't I just tell you that today this is one of the art maybe it was the article I was reading I don't know there's so much of it now yeah, I mean, I, I, I just would love to ignore all that stuff. I mean, I think I might start at some point, but it's just every time I think, okay, this is as bad as it can get, it's as low-minded as possible, something much lower comes up, usually a form of an article by the illustrious, you know, Point Magazine or whatever. Oh, I don't know. It'll occur to me. We'll probably talk about it, right? Is that all you want to say? Well, yeah, it's pretty much... And, I mean, again, it's funny, like, I noticed that the, uh, well, I mean, I found it funny that the videos were sent on different problems to fix, but they all had one correlated. Yeah, well said, jeez. <laughs> you know, so I mean, I just, yeah, I, I, I can't think that, I don't know, I don't, not to be arrogant, but, uh, yeah, I don't know.